Why are you here? <laughs> well, I'm here uh, because it's clear that Wall Street um, and uh, the big banks and corporations are making ordinary working people and youth pay for the financial crisis they cause. Um, and they're making us pay for it through unemployment, through um, attacks on social services and cuts to education and um, cuts to Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare. And, um, and we, and we, and social alternative feel like it was that it was the big banks and, and, uh, and Wall Street that created the crisis, not ordinary working people and youth. Okay. And so it's time for us to stand up and join together with labor and other progressive groups who are all feeling this and are all in our separate communities. It's impacting all of us, so we need to stand up and, and demand that the politicians and demand that Wall Street pay. Um, and as a, as a step, we say to tax the rich and big business. Um, we need jobs, not cuts. Okay. Um, what is this? This is Occupy Us. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the uh, it's uh, the protest of solidarity with the occupation of uh, Occupy Wall Street. Okay. Uh, what do you hope to get out of this? Uh, well, I hope to see that a, a movement is born that. Um, goes right at the heart of what the problem is, which is corporate greed and, and the system of capitalism, which is, um, like I said, is forcing finance, forcing young people and youth to pay for the crisis that we didn't cause. And this is a global, this is happening globally across the world, you know, I mean, the, 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 the actions of Tunisia and Egypt were also against the dictatorships that they've been living under for 50, 40 years, but it was also against the complete lack of future for young people and working people and women, and, and that's the same thing we're feeling here. So it's a, it's a global situation that working people and youth find themselves in where you have the, the global elites making more and more money and the ordinary working people like ourselves finding it harder and harder just to get by, let alone think of the future. So I, I think it's, it's for us to feel our collective strength and see that we all have common interests and build a movement out of this, um, build a mass movement to greet these historic challenges that we're feeling. Okay, yeah. thank you very much.